Strategy is a hard to get into genre of video games, but is very fun when mastered. Turn-based or real-time, grand strategy or tactical RPGs, there are many subgenres within the strategy game umbrella. So today, I'm going to tell you about the best upcoming strategy games on PC to look forward to in 2023. Age of Wonders 4 is the next installment of a turn-based strategy series. Like its predecessors, and unlike the futuristic Age of Wonders Planet Fall, the game is set in a fantasy universe. In addition to the traditional campaign, Age of Wonders 4 allows players to create their own stories as well. This is made possible thanks to the very powerful Kingdom Creator. It allows you to determine things such as the climate of your future lands, their inhabitants, culture, social traits, and magical powers. You can also create the Kingdom's leader with another equally complex creator. There are plenty of pre-made realms and characters, letting the player start the game proper very quickly. Age of Wonders 4 features a system of story events as well. These add uniqueness to the game and create a sense of a constantly evolving story. Broken Arrow is a strategy game that tells the story of a fictional conflict between the United States and Russia. The game refers in its gameplay style to such titles as World in Conflict or War Game. It presents large-scale conflicts with the use of modern weaponry. In Broken Arrow, you observe the action from different perspectives. The game is about controlling troops and taking part in great clashes of armies using modern equipment. The player can lead one of two factions, the United States or Russia, and use several hundred units divided into seven categories. Reconnaissance, infantry, combat vehicles, support, logistics, helicopters, and air support. The game also features customizable weapons and equipment for soldiers and vehicles. Vehicles. Jagged Alliance 3 is the third main installment of the iconic turn-based strategy series, launched in 1995. This is a completely new production that has nothing to do with other projects with the same title, created by other teams over the years. The game takes you to the fictional country of Grand Sheen. After the president of this country disappeared under mysterious circumstances, power passed to the Legion, a powerful paramilitary organization. The former leader's family refuses to give up and decides to pay the Adonis Corporation to have its experienced mercenaries not only find him but also restore the old order. How the country will develop depends on the decisions you make. In the Great War Western Front, you take part in operations on the Western Front of the First World War. The production allows you to stand on the side of the Triple Entente or the Central Powers and take part in key battles, recreating historical events or changing the course of history. The game was developed by veterans of the genre, namely the Petroglyph Game Studio, founded by the former creators of the Command and Conquer series, whose portfolio includes such projects as Star Wars, Empire at War, Panzer General, Allied Assault, Grey Goo, and Conan on conquered. To ensure the highest possible level of realism for the purposes of the described project, the developers have teamed up with London's Imperial War Museum. Farthest Frontier is a complex real-time strategy game with an extensive economic aspect that takes you to a world inspired by the European Middle Ages. In Farthest Frontier, you take on the role of the administrator of a settlement located on the borders of the world. Your task is to lead its development in such a way as to turn a small village, consisting mainly of wooden buildings, into a prosperous town. During the game, you have many duties to fulfill. Even if you do everything right, a variety of external factors can affect the village. Heat or cold can destroy even the most well-tended crops. Failure to supply clean water can lead to an outbreak of dysentery or cholera. Not providing proper clothing and footwear exposes serfs to tetanus or rabies, and not dealing with rats can lead to an outbreak of plague. Tactical, beautiful, and wholly unique sci-fi real-time strategy returns with Homeworld 3. Assume control and battle through fleet combat in dazzling, fully 3D space while the award-winning story unfolds on a galactic scale. Strategic freedom is yours. Hulk in space derelicts called Megaliths bring 3D terrain into the classic Homeworld battle space. Use the crumbling remains of an ancient civilization to funnel foes into a brilliant ambush or hide your fleet from powerful enemies. Fortresses team with menacing turrets and invite your strike craft into dangerous trenches running deep behind enemy lines. But not everything is in your control. Dangerous space phenomena like particle storms and asteroid fields will test even senior commanders. 
Norland is a strategy game with elements of a kingdom management simulator. The developers were inspired by such games as RimWorld, Crusader Kings, and Caesar. Norland does not have a predetermined storyline. It is rather a generator of extended stories, in which each interaction with unique characters has an impact on the further development of events. You take control of a noble family, dealing with various aspects of kingdom management ranging from economic to social, from political to military. There are many ways to keep control of the city and increase your influence in the world. You can not only plan political intrigues with other rulers or religious leaders, but also use blackmail or order assassinations. This brand new spin-off game will be more like StarCraft than the usual RPG sandbox experience of Minecraft. It is a strategy game set in the Minecraft world, with Minecraft mobs and characters. The game is developed in partnership with Blackbird Interactive, maker of the RTS series Homeworld. In a press release, the executive producer of Minecraft Legends revealed that players will discover a gentle land, both familiar and mysterious, full of lush biomes and rich resources, when they enter the world of Minecraft Legends. However, However, the beautiful world is under the threat of a piglin invasion. Players need to team up with others to defeat them. Stranded Alien Dawn is a strategy game with survival elements, in which you take control of a group of colonists and build a base on an alien planet. It was developed by Hammond Game Studio, which has among others three games in the Tropico series, as well as the thematically related Surviving Mars. Stranded Alien Dawn takes you on a journey to the sci-fi universe, and more precisely, to an alien planet on which a group of colonists scored a hard landing. The fate of each survivor rests in your hands, and it depends only on you, how many of the titular Alien Dawns they managed to see. Pioneers of Pagonia is a colorful city builder co-developed by veteran designer, responsible for creating the iconic The Settlers series in 1993. The game is very inspired by old-school strategy games and at the same time includes a number of innovations. Pagonia is an archipelago, its islands dotted with numerous villages once belonging to the same community of people. One day, an unknown cataclysm separated them, resulting in the formation of smaller tribes forced to struggle alone against robbers, aggressive wildlife, and mythical beasts. Though the game's world has an expansive backstory, it lacks a story campaign. Instead, Envision Entertainment chose to emphasize various challenges to encourage replayability. Manor Lords is a medieval strategy game that combines a strategic layer with spectacular real-time tactical battles. You build and develop your own medieval village, which in time turns into a city. In the game you can find the seasons and changing weather. You also have to deal with hunger, wars, or plagues. The second part of the game is tactical battles reminiscent of what you know from the Total War cycle. You have a number of different units at your disposal, such as archers, light, and heavy infantry. The game is not set in any particular age or place. Place, but is loosely inspired by historical realities. This is the second installment of the World War II real-time strategy series. Men of War II has two story campaigns to choose from. In the first one, you take command over allies and fight on the Western Front, while the second one allows you to take command over the Red Army and challenge the Third Reich on the Eastern Front. In total, 45 battalions and over 300 different machines are implemented in the game. Each unit has a unique specialization and an individual set of strengths and weaknesses, which, if skillfully used, are the key to success. Battlefields range from snowy Russian hills to European villages and ruined cities. In comparison to the first part of the series, this game stands out due to a much more advanced AI. Infection Free Zone is a city builder in which you take control of a community fighting for survival in a post-apocalyptic world. The game is unique compared to other strategies in that you can choose any city as the terrain of your actions. This is possible thanks to real data downloaded from the OpenStreetMap service. The story shows a world brought to the brink of extinction by a mysterious, crazy virus. Thousands of people suffered instant death, while others turned into bloodthirsty creatures. No one was prepared for the strength, speed, and aggression of the infected. Those few who were immune to the virus hid in makeshift shelters. Since then, they have been waiting for the moment when they can leave the underground to rebuild the world and perhaps even develop a cure. This is my list of the best upcoming strategy games on PC to look forward to in 2023. If you have something to add, feel free to leave any comments here. If you liked this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel.